So the first project we're going to be making, we're going to be making a large coloured pencil bowl. Um, so this blank is one that I made up a little while ago. And what I've done is actually used just clear resin and then put all the coloured pencils in. So mix up the resin, poured it into the mould and then put the coloured pencils and then mixed it through. The reason there's quite a large divot, I put a piece of wood in there that was covered in cling film. Um, so that would just a save on the volume of resin because of course resin is an expensive product but also it is a plastic so if I can use the smallest amount of resin possible it just means that I'm wasting less which is always a good thing. Uh, of course the obligatory tub of chocolates is being used for the mould. Um, these hold up really well under the heat of the resin. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole into the back, we're going to mount it on the lathe and then I've got to try and very carefully remove the chocolate box. Not sure how I'm going to do that just yet, I'm hoping when I drill the hole through the centre what will happen is I can then get in and kind of prise it off. Um, but that is something we'll have to wait and see if it works out. So the next step, we're going to get that drilled and then we can go from there. So I'm not sure if you can see here, but there is a very, very large amount of chipping going on. Um, you can also see where the resin really hasn't quite gone down to the level I'd expected it to go to. Um, this is going to take a lot longer than I thought to get into the right position. You can see there, there's a really nice clear panel, and then the piece next to it, you can see how much this resin is chipping. So whether it's just part of the curing process, it's not quite cured right. Uh, maybe it was too cold, I'm not sure, but... Uh, yeah, I think this is going to be a really difficult project to finish, but we're going to persevere on, we're going to get this cut down, um, and then we'll carry on and see how it goes. So I've just started to cut a recess into that side of the bowl. Uh, this will allow me to flip it over the other way so that I can smooth down the base and get a really nice even sit on the bowl. Um, the last thing I want is to have a little bit of rocking, a little bit of motion. So now I've flipped it over, I'm smoothing down the bottom side, getting it to a really nice finish and then I can sand it. So you can see here just using a metal ruler, making sure it's perfectly flush. Uh, it was a little bit proud at the centre of the bowl base, so what I'm doing now is just using the chisel and taking a little bit more of the material off. And now I've just started to sand it, starting with 80 grit, working right away to 1000 grit. That way it gives it a really nice glass-like finish.
So at this part you can see that there was quite a bit of uh, dead material at the top where the resin hadn't quite flowed, uh, the colour pencils had moved up a little bit and it was really rough and not particularly nice to look at. I also couldn't fill the holes because there would be internal voids. So the best thing to do in this instance is just cut that off. So you can see here just using a saw, cutting off that ring. Uh, it's probably a good three quarters of an inch of material that I've lost there, but that'll just give a really nice finish to the top of the bowl. So here, just using the chisel, cutting down into the centre of the bowl. It is a very slow process with these resin bowls because they're so prone to fracturing and chipping. So it's very, very gentle passes, lots of passes with the chisel. So now that's the last pass of the sandpaper. Now that it's been fully sanded, the next thing to do is get a little bit of the OD's oil on there. This is a really, really nice natural product that seals the wood, feeds the wood, but also gives that resin a really nice sheen and a pop.
Hasn't this one come out absolutely beautifully? You've got the lovely, bright, vibrant colour pencils along with the crystal clear resin. So as you look through, you can actually see directly through the bowl itself. The base is nice and sturdy, it's nice and thick. And again, those colourways just come through beautifully from the colour pencils. All I've got to do, I'm going to put a little bit of resin in here first just to fill that divot, give it a little bit more thickness. Um, and then I'm going to put my seal in the bottom. This bowl just has an absolutely lovely feel to it. Good size, and as you can see from the glare there, an amazing shine. So I hope you've enjoyed watching the video. If you have, if you could please like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell notification, that'll let you know every time a video goes live. Got videos going up every two weeks this year. Um, I know I said that a little while ago, and then we had a little bit of a hiatus. Um, unfortunately, that was due to the Christmas season with all the markets and fairs going on. But now that we're into a new year, we can get videos out every two weeks and make sure that content keeps on coming. So thanks again for watching, stay safe, take care, look after yourselves, and I'll see you for the next video. I want to just do some stills.